Friday to you. Welcome to Let's Talk. Our shows are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Open to everyone. We're about productivity, positivity, and happiness. In case you've been away for a while, you may not know that May is National Mental Health Month. We hear a lot about it on television. Take care of your mind as well as your body. Mental health is just as important as physical health. It's time to break the stigma and start talking about it. It's to encourage people to seek help if they're struggling with mental health issues and to increase awareness of mental health, reduce stigma, promote mental health well-being for everyone. It's even reached the super millionaire athletes in professional sports. There's no one that saw this coming. No one. One of our guests on this week's show of Let's Talk is Davis Essel. He's a former Division I basketball player at Syracuse for two years. His emphasis in sports psychology in the beginning of his career, now he has opened up his practice to include mental health, addiction, and psychology. Yeah, and you know, the, it, it's so close to me. In 1990, I had a failed suicide attempt. And in that failed suicide attempt, even as a counselor, you know, I wasn't aware of all of the challenges that I had covered up with alcohol. So I used alcohol as what many people do, medication. Uh, it was a way for me to survive with very deep clinical depression and anxiety until I reached a point where I tried to take my life. But that was a turning point, Andy. That was everything to me. You know, people talk about those points as being negative. It was the most positive thing in the world. It forced me to raise my hand and say, I need help. And then through the help after 1990, my career changed and I started to put a lot of time into the world of mental health for, you know, average everyday people, athletes, uh, the world of addiction. And from that time to today, it's been a blessing. Since I follow all kinds of sports, you name it. And since we are talking about mental health, I figured we might have something to offer about what has been a big story in basketball. One of its star players has gotten suspended and being directed to get mental health care because, well, here's more. Memphis Grizzlies star John Morant has been suspended for a second time after once again appearing to flash a gun on social media. The video circulated on Saturday night. It shows Morant with what appears to be a handgun while he's riding in a friend's car. Yesterday, the Grizzlies said they were aware of the video and suspended Morant from all team activities pending league review. In March, Morant was suspended for eight games after he was seen holding a gun inside a nightclub on Instagram Live. A representative for Morant did not immediately respond to requests for comment. In the world of basketball, John Moran is a big deal. He gets tens upon tens upon millions of dollars to play in the NBA. So it has been a real shock for pro basketball. So we talked about it with our, our guest this week, David Isel. Yeah, Andy, it's a great question. You know, I happen to love John Moran, and we just sent a, a, a major a video to Adam Silver, who's the president of the NBA. We sent the same video to the Memphis Grizzly owners, coaches, and the team. And, you know, the kid has so much potential. But uh, several months ago, he was on Instagram flashing a gun, uh, coming out of a strip club is the story that it was, you know, and and the NBA went nuts and they should have. And Adam Silver sat down with John Morant, looked him in the eyes, told him that this could never happen again. John Morant was humble. He says everything that we all say, I'm sorry, it'll never happen again. He was suspended for eight games and Adam Silver, the NBA president back then said, this is a serious offense. It's a serious consequence. You'll be out for eight games. And this was when the Memphis Grizzlies needed him going towards the playoffs. Uh, he was out for eight games without pay. Now to an NBA player, trust me, that's a lot of money, eight days without pay. Um, but then he came back and did it again two days ago. And another Instagram video of him putting a gun next to his head, for God's sake, Andy. So, you know, now, in, and what we, you know, what we said to Adam Silver, the NBA and the Memphis Grizzlies, is that he's a young kid. Uh, we've got to find the origin. You know, why would someone in his situation almost destroy, potentially destroy his career? And it reminds me of another athlete that you might remind, remember, uh, Johnny Manziel, a very famous quarterback. 
number of years ago. I think he was a number one pick. He was supposed to turn the franchise around. You know, he ended up partying. He had no emotional control. They actually got him a coach, Andy. They were talking about, you know, Manziel. They got him a coach to, to travel with him, a mentor. It, it still didn't work. But what I said to the NBA today is that someone needs to work with John Morant more than a couple months. I believe that John Morant should be out of the league for six months without pay and to get to the bottom of not only why he's doing it, but helping this poor young man to heal. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people in his position that will gain great followers by doing things like this, you know, by being having a gun in his hand or a lot of money or, you know, this is a culture that people respect individuals that do this and it's the worst respect in the world. One of the things that concerns me greatly is that he has millions upon millions of 12 year olds, 16 year olds, 20 year olds who are in love with him, that want to emulate him. He's a superstar and he's got to come around with a heck of a lot more. I'm sorry it won't happen again. He needs professional help and he might need, Andy, someone to travel with him for at least a complete season every day in order to teach him what he hasn't learned up to this day. Now, I know you can't get into his head right now, but what would drive somebody to be um, uh, wanting to flash guns? I mean, is that a lack of self-confidence or security? Is there something going on like that? You know, it's a great question that I can only guess about because as a counselor, I haven't worked with John Moran. But usually when people doing, do that, they're doing it for status. They're doing it for attention. They're doing it to show their followers they're tough guys. You know, I'm an NBA player, but I'm also a thug. My words, no one else's, you know, has used that word thug. But that's, that's, that's the image, Andy, that comes to my mind. You know, yeah, I can be a star, but I'm also a tough guy. And depending on the neighborhood that you're raised in, that's the law of the land, right? And there's a lot of, unfortunately, young black men that are highly influenced by rap songs that talk about violence, you know, sex and everything else. And, you know, these kids and John Morant is a kid. Now, with something that, that the audience needs to know, the human brain does not physically mature in men until at least 24 to 25 years of age. But with most men, it's closer to 30 to 35. John Moran is like 19, 20 years of age. He's not working with a fully matured brain and his actions show it. And that's why he needs that intense mentorship guidance. You know, someone that's going to shadow him so that when he has that chance to make these kind of decisions, there's someone that he can turn to that hopefully can get in his ear and stay there. Well, that goes into my next question in a way because uh... You know, I'm a lot older than John Morant, but I was wondering, uh, do uh, mental health problems vary with age? Uh, we touched upon his situation, but as you get older. Oh, it, it does. And you mentioned something really important, low self-confidence. You know, like you wouldn't think someone like John Morant would have low self-confidence. But listen, uh, and, and I'll just share an example of myself. You know, I can speak in front of 5,000 people, which people would think, you must have a lot of confidence to do that. And when I was speaking in front of 5,000 people, I was a raging alcoholic, Andy. So, you know, I had no confidence because as someone who has a lot of confidence wouldn't need to drink as much as I drank, uh, you know, and be able to perform. So I think a lot of what he's missing is that level of confidence that he doesn't have to impress people. His money doesn't have to impress people having a gun. But when people show their money, show their guns, it tells us that they don't have the confidence just to be an excellent NBA star. He needs to have more on his side to feel better about himself. And that goes back to something I mentioned earlier, Andy. I want to find the origin of this. You know, is he following a father, an uncle, a grandfather's footsteps? Is he following an older brother, you know, who might have been gang related? And we have to use the words gang related because what the hell? Who else pulls out a gun on a video and shows it multiple times when you're making hundreds of millions of dollars a year and you're going to lose your career? You know, that's not normal behavior. We'll talk more about mental health next week. I want to thank you for supporting the show. If you like it or you learn something new, you want to share it, 
There are three ways I, you can do it to support Let's Talk. Number one, get yourself subscribed. Every week, I'm bringing on inspirational guests who can teach you or something interesting to share. So if you take a moment, hit the subscribe button. Number two, this is the ultimate way to support Let's Talk, and it takes less than a minute. You can write something short and sweet like, I love the show, it's changed your life, or something you learned from it. And I'm not exaggerating that I read reviews every single day, every single one, whether short or long, it means everything to me. The more reviews means the higher we rank on all those algorithms, which means bigger guests, so take a minute to leave a review. And three, share the show with your friends. Just hit that share button. We live stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm eternally grateful, by the way. Thank you so much for supporting Let's Talk about productivity, positivity, and happiness.